Hi, it's Kari. Happy Holidays! I'm bringing you into my studio today and we're going to craft out some Christmas uh, wrapping. If you don't know me, I have this... I never throw away wrapping paper or ribbons. And what I do is we do so many uh, interior design projects that we're constantly staging, so we always have these big, huge, like, duvet cover, uh, you know, bags. And I save these bags, and then I put all my wrapping. So I have one for birthday, and then I have one for Christmas. So I save all my ribbons, and I save tissue, and I save my bags, and all these cool things so I can recycle my wrapping. It's, this is going to be one less thing that I have to go buy this time of year and it kind of brings out the inner kindergartner of me and I get it to play. And this is a good time to practice your decorative painting. You can be freer, you can practice with stencils, you can practice with foils, you can practice with uh, metallic paints and all kinds of things. So we're going to kind of go through and do a few of these. You can make your gift tags like this. You can do your tissue paper, but today we're going to get through just a few with you and have some fun. So I'm going to start off, these are some bags, these old bags that I had around, and I'm just going to make them a little bit cuter. So these are these uh, paper stencils that you can get at Home Depot. Um, they just come in cardboard, and you can write things out with them. I kind of like them. So today we're going to spell out Noel. I did bring some uh, tacky spray so I can spray my bag uh, and plant them on there and it'll be a little bit better. So what I do is I shake this up really well and then I'm just going to do a light dusting on the back of the paper stencil and I'm just going to lay it out on my bag. And the whole point of this is to be fun, free, and there is no perfection. So <clears throat> if something gets outside of the lines or <clears throat> you don't um, put it on perfect, it's a time that you can forgive yourself. So I know that for me, perfection is high on my client's mind. So when I get to play around like this a little bit, it frees me up so then when I go to do my jobs, I have this inner child in me still and I don't get too caught up. Okay, so now I got that on. No way. Look at nothing's perfect. The letters aren't there, but that's how I want it. And then I think on this one, since the bag is already gold, I'm just using, this is a great way to kill the last bit of your primer too. There's hardly any primer left in here. So I'm gonna shake it up. And I'm gonna come on here and just spritz in, and look, if I get it sprayed like that, it's okay, because it's kind of cool, because it looks like snow, you know? So now I have Noel going there, and if I want to do a little pinch of this damask on here, so it's like a little bit more design, I'm not looking for my lines to stay perfect or anything, I'm just looking for some interest and texture on my bag. And then I might even take the bottom of it and put it on there like that. I mean, how cute is that already looking? Of course I'm going to take the Noelle off. So now this should come off fairly easy. Boom. And if you lay these up, they, they dry out. The, and then you can probably reuse them, but they're, they're really inexpensive. I think they're like $5, so it's not worth even struggling over. Now maybe I wanna do something on the back here a little bit. Um, I'll give that a minute, but that looks cute already. And then this one already has a ribbon on it. And then I can just shove something in there. So this one I'm gonna do love on here. Um, and I'm gonna try doing it in, I'm going to do it in, I think this is silver. Here, this is metal, this is a mirror effect. I wanna see what it looks like, just for fun. Okay, so now we're gonna just spray this. If you come straight down like that, then it doesn't kick the stencil off. 
And then I just kind of spritz it around so I get like some flecks of paint going on. And then have love on it. And I can come back in a minute, which I will do with my uh, paint pen after when this dries and I'll trace the letters a little better. I didn't want to stick the spray adhesive on this pencil because I use it a little bit. And the spray adhesive is not my favorite thing. You can wash it off, but that's that. And then on this guy, he's going to be really cool. What we're going to do is we're going to put some red foil on here. So I'm just going to put this stencil down. This is the glue for the foil. This is something, I think I have a video on YouTube on my foils. You should go check it out at Kari Caldwell Studios. And it's how we foiled a, um, a china hutch for a client. So if you've never foiled anything before, maybe a, a box, a Christmas box, is your first place to start. So I'm going to stencil the glue. This is actually a glue. It's called Size, and it's what you use. And I just kind of get it off a little off my, my brush. I am going to put just one little piece of tape down here. So I'm going to put a little piece of tape, and I'm offloading my stencil brush, and then I'm just going to stencil this glue on. And because this is art, and I'm bringing out my inner kindergartner, I don't want perfection here. I want to see what happens when I don't stay in perfection, when I stay loose, when I stay free, because I have to rein it in for my clients and be really intense. I don't want to be really intense on this small little project. It's just a good sort of a mental exercise of trusting your own inner creative girl. You know, that's how I see it. It's just like you can let mistakes happen that can turn. I've had really cool mistakes happen. One time I was doing this mural and it was on the floor and I spilled my coffee all over it right where we were painting the gate on the mural. And it ended up being really cool texture on it. So sometimes we don't allow our, our accidents to happen, um, you know, so easily when we're doing something, when somebody's paying us for it. So now I'm just gonna, just give me a second here. And I'm just gonna dry this off, like here. And you don't really need to even know where your design is, but you can see it but you really don't know how you even need to know where it is because the foil will only stick to where the glue is. And I'm gonna rush it a little because we're here. So now I'm gonna take this foil. You can get the foil at Royal Design Studio. We'll put a little link to where you can get it. And I'm just gonna rip a little piece off. So, Oddly enough, the shiny side stays out and the backing goes down because it, it's sticking this way and then there's a cellophane that keeps, the cellophane will stay and then the, just the color will go on. So I'm just gonna lay it down on my box, smash it down with my hand. Then I take a little scrubber so I can really kind of get it in there. And look how cool you can start seeing your design come up. You guys, I didn't place my stencil perfect. I did nothing. I didn't try to stencil it perfect, place it perfect, or anything because I want it to be free Woo! and exciting. Isn't that pretty? Looks really cool. So you can do that, and then you can take your gold spray paint. Um, I just think it's super fun if I'm, you know, save boxes from all kinds of things that you get. I'm just going to, and like I said, it to me, it's not mattering right now if I'm any stage of perfect. So I just want a little bit of gold on my box edge. So I'm just hitting the sides. This side. You can see it's coming on the corners a little, which I like. And I can just kind of ombre it in there. And a little bit there. Alright, so now I have a really
really cool box lid. Then I can do something special with this too. So I try my foil. I know we only used spray paint, but that's super easy. You can actually take this and have it a more lo a longer day event. This is really cute. Then you pull out your ribbons and you find some cool ribbons and you put them on there and you can add all your decoration, reuse it. I really like reusing my paper, my boxes, my paint. I'm actually very thrifty. For one, I can't, this is all beautiful beaded ribbon. I can't throw that in the trash. I have to save all this. So I save all my wrapping papers, all my boxes and everything. And if I don't have enough for Christmas, I just go ahead and decorate. And then it just brings out my inner kindergartner that I can bring out onto my job sites and I can bring into my big, bigger, more perfect projects when we're loose and free and then we know how to rein ourselves in. So go and enjoy and have a merry holiday, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Oh, 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 oh.